Hi, I'm Bruce Marshall from Emerson Swan, and I'm back again to give you a little idea of what actually is going on inside of your heating system regarding air. Air, of course, is the enemy of the hydronic system. It causes noise in the system, it causes corrosion, and in extreme cases it can stop the flow of water. So with the aid of this demonstrator that we have, we can show you what's actually going on inside your pipes. You never get to see this in the real world. What we have is a typical system, and we can see that there is air entrained in the water, and it is running around and around. And this would be a system with either no air elimination or an air eliminator that is not working. And what we see is a fair amount of turbulence going into the pump, a lot more coming out of the pump, and a considerable amount of turbulence happening at the elbow, because that's where it all occurs. This water is moving very fast, your turbulence occurs at the elbow. One of the uh, rules of thumb with a traditional air scoop is that you put it 18 inches from the elbow, and the reason for that is that these bubbles have to rise to the top of the pipes, and it takes distance. In a typical heating system, it's around 18 inches. Air wants to rise, but because it's moving and the turbulence happens at this point, it takes a distance for that air to get to the top of the pipe so it can enter the air scoop on the top. So by putting the air scoop right next to the elbow, the tendency is for the air to blow right through, continue through the system, come back around again, and around and around, and never go away. So now we've seen what goes on in the system without any air elimination or with an air eliminator that does not work. So let's see what happens when we add a good quality air eliminated to our system. And what we're going to do is divert that flow from just circulating around and around. We're going to divert it through this model of the Taco 4900 air eliminator. In the bottom of the barrel you see the stainless steel pawl rings that the air and train water must go through to separate out. I'm going to divert the flow through the air eliminator. By closing this valve on the bottom and opening this one, the flow, once it reestablishes, is going to flow through the air eliminator and what you'll see is all these air bubbles going in and coming out clean on the other side. There it goes. You can see all these bubbles being separated out and after a couple of revolutions, the noise quiets down, the air is gone, and the water is clean. So I hope you've enjoyed this visual demonstration of the importance of a good quality air eliminator installed correctly and operating properly in your hydronic system. Thank you.